Well, good afternoon. I'm Pastor Les Chemist. Welcome to Cruising the Narrow Road. I am on my V Strum, aka John. And we are on our way to do a moto vlog. Actually, I'm on my way to do a little practice run. I have not been riding this bike much. And I am working at learning to ride it. And so here I am practicing. And if I sound a little different, it's because I'm a little bit nervous. This bike has a whole lot more power. And then my, and then my other one, for sure. I don't want to be acting like a squid here, but oh my son, does this have so much more power. You take a thousand cc motor, which I believe was originally designed for a sport bike that Suzuki designed that did not go as well. And so they took it and they designed this bike around that motor. It's an interesting feel on this different bike. I, I am not on a cruiser anymore. And I'll be honest with you, I do not have any experience on adventure bikes. I have ridden dirt bikes, you know, dual purpose dirt bikes, 250s, 175s, like I've told you before. But uh, this is my first, first experience on any sort of an adventure bike, especially an adventure bike of this size. Uh, have I ridden bigger bikes, bigger displacement bike this and this? Yes, that's, that's not the issue. It's just a totally different layout here on this bike. And I'm just giving you the raw, the raw feeling here. I'll be honest with you, I'm just a touch nervous on this thing. Uh, it's incredible that it's, uh, the power, the different handling, the different setup. The uh, rear controls the way they are, they're more, your feet are more tucked under you. Uh, it is just an interesting feeling. What I'm on my way to do is actually to practice a little bit. I need to get a feel for this bike. And I would advise anybody who uh, has a bike, gets a new bike, go spend some time on it just to get a feel for it. Uh, you know, where is that friction zone? the braking and all the different things with it. Part of it's nervousness that I feel today, part of it is just excitement. Excitement with a new bike. This is awesome. <laughs> so I'm going up to an empty lot that I can uh, do some practicing on here. But man, this is a much more powerful bike. Uh, it might not be the most powerful as far as, you know, bikes go, but uh, when you're not used to this big of a, a motor and uh, this type of bike, it is a, it's a different feel, man. It's a different feel altogether. But I'm enjoying it. I gotta say, I'm enjoying it thus far. This is, uh, this has been great.
think I'm going to go for a little ride just down to the edge of town. It is such a good feeling to be on this bike. It's been uh, two months, over two months since I first uh, got it here in Newfoundland. It's been literally months since uh, since this uh, uh, getting this bike started. Uh, started the, the works to get it here. Uh, it's been months. It's been months and months. Uh, so to finally see it come around to um, to actually being able to use the bike and, and to be able to to ride it and enjoy it uh, it's incredible um, it's been a long journey uh, blood sweat and tears as I told Tony's family uh, just the other day when I finally got it licensed uh, there's been a lot of blood sweat and tears I had to uh, go through a process to get it inspected here in Newfoundland which is a little bit different because we don't have bike inspections here uh, on a regular no, normally we don't uh, have safety inspections like that on a regular basis and so it took some uh, some running around on the government side of things to figure out exactly what they what they needed from me and then it took me a while to find a, a shop that would do it and uh, finally a uh, bit of trial and error but we put it all together and I, I took the paperwork in the other day and they said yep that's good great and so we finally got it licensed uh, what a huge relief it was that day to get it licensed I know that just incredible I gotta say this bike is smooth I noticed the difference in the motor the engine not being that v-twin uh, rumble to it that V-twin uh, vibration, actually. So I'm only going to go down here around this turn and turn around at the store because I uh, cannot leave town today. I have to stay within the uh, confines of Clarenville because I'm on duty this weekend. <laughs> with the fire service. And so this is the town border right here. certainly is a nice bike to ride. It's a very windy day and I don't feel the buffeting on my head. This windshield seems to be doing the trick. Now I'm not at high speed so I get it but um, I'm not getting knocked around even though it's really quite windy today. Oh, I had to do a lot of work to the bike. Um, I say a lot. I had to get a number of things done to make it past this inspection that I told you about. Uh, it needed uh, brake work all the way around. It needed um, uh, front pads on both both brakes. There's a this is a twin rotor system. It's got two rotors in the front, so it needed uh, brake pads on both calipers, uh, and then it needed pads in the rear. And uh, it looked like it had needed pads for a long time because uh, it was steel on steel <laughs> uh, and ruined the rotor in the back. It was all gouged up. It was all gouged up. So. Uh, So we needed to replace the rotor, so I replaced the rotor and pads in the rear, all the pads in the front, 
and I also replaced the uh, chain and the front and rear sprockets. Uh, I bought a, a whole set and put them on uh, and uh, other than that it really didn't need a whole lot uh, and so it's just awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I didn't need any more than that. I was able to source the parts through Amazon some of them through Amazon, uh, the chain of sprockets through Amazon, and then uh, actually no, I, that's a lie. I got the, <laughs> the chain and sprockets through eBay, and uh, believe it or not, it was cheaper to get them from Britain uh, and get them sent over than it was to buy them uh, out of the states or Canada. So I got the chain and sprockets um, from a shop in Britain, and uh, I got the rotor and brake pads from Fort 9 uh, which did were really good their shipping was awesome if you've never dealt with Fort 9 uh, whether you're Canadian American I don't care who you are Fort 9 is an awesome company to deal with uh, they're well known on YouTube you you, you uh, find Ryan uh, doing a lot of videos from Fort 9 and uh, really uh, really a great company so far and anyway what I, what I got was all accurate it was what I needed and so we're in good shape. Um, we're in good shape with it all now. Um, so I got all that done. I got it. Uh, I got it all uh, taken care of. Now we're a little. We don't have a Suzuki dealer here in Clarenville. We're a small town, and there's no Suzuki dealer here. I would have to go an hour and a half one direction and two hours another direction to to get a Suzuki dealer. So. I ended up getting it worked on at Honda, and uh, shout out to Clarenville Honda, they treated me like royalty, they really did, did me a good turn on this bike, uh, just really appreciate their work, really appreciate their service, uh, they went the extra mile to help me with the problems that I was having with the paperwork, and uh, we worked, they, they worked with me, and so Clarenville Honda is just absolutely awesome. Uh, if you ever, if you're dealing with any kind of motorcycle uh, here in the Clarenville area, uh, take it to them. They'll they'll work on anything, uh, and uh, you know pretty much. And, and they they do an excellent job. Mechanic there is wonderful, and uh, I really appreciate what they've done. This bike is not near as hard to ride or nearly as intimidating as I was thinking it was. I was all intimidated. The biggest reason I'm intimidated by this bike is because I'm short. I'm five foot seven with a 29, 29 and a half inch inseam. And the seat height on this bike is 33 inches. And so I've, uh, I've had to learn to do some things, uh, ride a little bit differently. Uh, um, handle. I, I really I need to stop a little bit differently so I can get my feet down. But uh, a couple little tricks that I learned actually from some short riders on YouTube, specifically uh, Doodle on a motorcycle. Uh, she does an awful lot of stuff with about short riders and uh, learned a trick just how to how to how to deal with the bigger bike. And uh, she did an excellent job. So thank her. And uh, also another uh, moto vlogger uh, goes by Moto Blonde. She also uh, does a good job, and she gives a lot of tips about riding, uh, riding for short riders as well. And uh, so I appreciate their input, and uh, I've been able to uh, stop and handle this bike pretty well, learning the tips and tricks of that. It's not really that big of a deal, but it's. Um, it is a big bike. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than I'm used to. Uh, my cruiser is a heavier bike than this one, but uh, a lot lower to the ground, and the saddleman seat I put on it low, you know, made the ride height even that much lower, and uh, so it was it was great. Uh, I have never had any issues with leg length on that one. This one uh, takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you learn the tips and tricks and practice them a little bit really not that bad uh, so far now this is my first real ride I've ridden it back and forth from the from the shop but I've not ridden it too much uh, anywhere else this is the longest ride I've had on this bike so far and uh, you're with me this is just raw as it is uh, this is the first ride I've ever taken on it uh, so thanks for joining me I hope this is uh, this <laughs> video was uh, enjoyable for you. I hope uh, 
that this channel is a bit of a blessing to you. So uh, anyway, leave leave me uh, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you if you didn't, well, okay, don't bother. <laughs> but, uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you've never subscribed, please consider subscribing to uh, Cruise in the Narrow Road. I'd appreciate uh, you doing that. We are almost at 400 subscribers now, and uh, that's pretty good. So for me, I'm happy, you know, uh, takes little to make me happy, I guess, but. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. May God bless you. Have a great day.